Hello and welcome everyone to a new video here on my channel, this time with a new jet aircraft for Grand Theft Auto 5 as you might have already guessed from the thumbnail or from the F-35 standing right here. And the aircraft we are talking about is, as I just mentioned, the F-35C, the carrier born version of the F-35 Lightning II. Um, I have already uploaded an F-35B United States Marine Corps version. It was one of my very first mods for Grand Theft Auto V and is thus several years old, like five or six years old. And yeah, it, it doesn't really look uh, that great nowadays anymore. The textures are meh. And yeah, the whole stuff could probably be better nowadays, but um, I might redo this one or do a new version once Battlefield uh, 2042 is out since it has a new and probably a nice model for that. And yeah, here we go with the Ace Combat 7 model of the F-35C, which is very nice looking. And yeah, we're just gonna hop into the jet, check out the features. So um, where shall we start? Let's check out the liveries first. We've got a United States Marine Corps livery of the Black Knights, which is uh, the squadron Will Smith was part of in Independence Day in the 1995 movie, although he flew an F-18 Hornet in that movie. Then we've got um, a special testing skin, which has the Edwards Air Force Base tail code. This is not an actual uh, operational squadron used on aircraft carriers or something like that. Then we've got the VFA 101 Grim Reapers high visibility scheme, one of the first operational F 35Cs. And we've got an unpainted factory livery for the F 35. Um, yeah, this is livery which is featured in Ace Command and I thought it lo just looks pretty cool so this one has been ported over to the GTA 5 mod as well. So yeah, uh, as you probably saw when switching through the liveries you can fold the wings up and down and when they're folded upwards you can fly, obviously, I mean when you do this in midair, you just plummet to the ground. Let's check the vehicle mod menu. You can add aim nine sidewinders on the outer wing pylons. Uh, once you equip those, they can also be used as a weapon. We've got the inner wing armament, which adds spare three missiles, air to ground missiles. You've got AMRAM missiles, four of them, or you've got four JDAM bombs. So um, the JDAMs and the AMRAMs are purely cosmetical, or cosmetic. Um, the spare three missiles actually add another set of weapons which are usable. Um, nevertheless, the AMRAM and the JDAM are both usable by default without equipping any weapon mod, and I'm just uh, I'm gonna show you in a bit why that is. Uh, this mod just opens up the rear doors for for the landing gear resting hook, which you can actually put down, but uh, I've already used all other doors for different stuff, so I decided to do this as a mod just in case you want to do some screenshots or something, and yeah. So, oh. No, wait. Wrong button. Alright, um, engine nozzle state, this is um, by default the engine nozzle, you can also switch to idle state, so to say, I just like to have some variety, maybe you do too. Um, launch bar and down position, you can change change it like that, when you, again, for screenshots or something when you're on a catapult, um, yeah, alright, and yeah, this is this is basically it.
so we're going to take a quick look at the cockpit. Um, there is not much moving here aside from the stick and artificial horizon right here because, well, um, unfortunately you can only animate analog, analog gauges pretty much with uh, GDA's default aircraft texture. So yeah, there's, there's unfortunately nothing moving on the screen. Just this one down here and the stick. That's it. So yeah, as I said, the MRAM and the JDAM are both usable by default and this is because those are actually located as well. Oops, no. Right here. The rear doors open up uh, the auto wing weapon base and those have mounted MRAMs and when you open the bomb bay doors those actually have the JDAMs on them. didn't hit. Let's try again to see if we have any ground targets. Yep, that looks good. Short range whistle, this is uh, the wing mounted AIM-9. Let's see, there's the helicopter. Yeah, the spare three is just labeled. Uh, I just labeled it like this: uh, rapid fire missile, because unfortunately you can't track multiple targets in Ace. Uh, yeah, Ace Combat Seven, in Grand Theft Auto Five. So I just decided to make this like. A missile which you can fire in quick succession, to uh, give you some variety. It has uh, rel relatively high. Reload time to uh, distinguish it a bit from the AIM-9. Yeah, the long-range missile, uh, that's basically the AIM-120 MRAM. But, uh, yeah, I gotta say the, the JDAM bombs are quite fun. No, we do not want... the wings up and as you can see it also has some night lights we have the position lights which you can switch on or off ah bright and yeah, I actually forgot we can also go to vehicle. Bup, 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 bup. And when you open the trunk, you can actually open the refueling arm at the front.
And there we go. This was a surprisingly smooth landing, I gotta say. So yeah, this is basically it. A new F-35 for Grand Theft Auto V. And the release will be fairly soon. It's uh, basically finished, just needs some minor touch-ups. So uh, perhaps the link will even be in the description once this video has finished uploading. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the next videos, for the next jets, helicopters, whatever. Not quite sure what will be next, but we'll see. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, as always, take care.